right then let me try it on for myself let me see what's so amazing about this powder hello guys thank you so much for clicking to watch this video my name is angela delano today i have my collection of setting powders setting powder is actually a very essential item to have in your collection i've been filming collection videos because they're fun and you guys seem to like them if you like a full face of foundation you probably like to highlight your under eye with concealer when you do use that under eye concealer you need to set it with powder if not it's gonna crease and your makeup is gonna look like i don't want to say a hot mess Bruh. shall we get started i think we should so i'm actually starting off with a drugstore powder and this is the at heart revolution powder in the shade chocolate banana i'm not gonna lie to you when i first used it i was like i am not sold i am just not sold she's a bit ashy she's a bit dry oh she feels like chalk on my face but you know how sometimes you can get first impressions of some people wrong i used her today but the first time i actually ever used her was in on youtube i have a video testing out new products so definitely check that out if you want to see what this looks like on my face i've now realized what you need to do to use this powder don't put too much and when you use it blend it out you're not baking if you have this powder don't bake with this because she doesn't need baking because she's already very 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 matte it is it is a very affordable powder i mean laura mercier is 30 pounds this is seven pounds but the thing about this one you have to figure out how to use her to work for your skin laura mercier she's going to be flawless regardless of if you know how to use setting powder or not but this one i would say when you put it on definitely blend it out as soon as you can and then put your shade of your powder on top i usually put my matte powder on top as soon as i use this yeah i would recommend getting this but also playing around with it so my next powder since i already started talking about her is laura mercier again i have a video using this powder on my channel my dad actually did my voiceover and it was pretty hilarious laura how many layers of are we putting on some other cream this is now a white cream that she's applying to the face, to the forehead. I mean, do I really, really, really need to go on about this powder and how good it is? I feel like for years, everybody has hyped up this powder and for good reason. She is a very good powder to have. She is translucent. She works on all skin types. She blends well into your skin and it doesn't give you like an effect like when you use her you can't see that you put powder on whereas this powder when you put it on you can see that you put on certain powder because it is yellow like it doesn't blend into your skin flawlessly like this one so i would always recommend laura mercier i would always get it in my collection when it finishes even though it's 30 pounds it's very expensive I, I will still get it because it's one of those staples one of those holy grails that you know she's not going to disappoint you no matter what would i rebuy the revolution one i don't i don't know i don't i don't know when it finishes i shall see if i miss it but i doubt i'm gonna rebuy this but this one i can tell you a hundred percent i always would have this in my collection it's a very 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 good powder the next powder i'm gonna talk about is huda beauty this is actually a new buy i actually still have the box the thing about huda beauty i've never per se been like very 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 interested in the brand but then this powder was spoken about a lot in the beauty community and there was one day that i was just really feeling like buying new makeup and i was just like you know what people constantly talk about this powder let's see what she's talking about that's the thing about makeup like once it gets a lot of reviews even though you close your eyes to it you're like mm -mm, i'm not gonna look i'm not gonna look one day you just might feel a bit weak and just go on and buy it so that's if you have a passion for makeup you just end up just saying all right then let me try it on for myself let me see what's so amazing about this powder but i don't regret buying it honestly when i use it i'm like okay i understand the hype i won't lie to you she's a really really good powder i just might buy it when it finishes and i got the shade banana bread and it smells it smells like towels like what's that called is it calcium powder talc powder sorry i don't know why i said calcium like johnson's baby powder but with a bit of perfume yeah it's nice it smells nice to be honest i like it the thing about huda beauty 
her foundation sorry her this actually has like a bit of a luxury feel to it so when i do use this i feel like oh i'm using one of my luxe items like when i use my laura mercier my fancy i feel like oh i'm using high-end products but this definitely feels high-end it feels good and smooth on the skin this is in the shade as i said banana bread and i will just swatch it for you so this is the huda beauty one in banana bread i'm in the shade 420 with fenty by the way if you're just wondering what my foundation is this is the laura mercier translucent one and then the laura mercier swatch is a bit thicker and then this is the revolution one let me show you what it looks like as you can see revolution is the most yellow laura mercier is the most, most translucent and this huda beauty one as well is translucent but with a slight tint of yellow the reason why the swatch is not as powerful as these two is because the huda beauty one actually has a sieve so it doesn't let you pick up that much um setting powder when you use it which sometimes i find very very um frustrating sometimes you just want to be able to pick up all the products you want like the revolution one and then the laura mercier one sometimes you just want to be able to pick up as much product but yeah these are probably my, like my most used setting powders these three but let me go on to some other setting powders so i have the fenty beauty um setting powders this is the shade nutmeg which is more like my skin and this is the shade banana this is a pro filter setting powder i definitely have a video using these i mean i did a a video where i followed rihanna's makeup and i really really enjoyed doing that i've actually been doing another video like that of following another celebrity's makeup routine especially because vogue has all these celebrity makeup i was leaning towards jordan woods i feel like i really like her makeup very very natural very very beautiful and some people say i kind of look like her bruh anyway but if you have any other celebrity that you think i would like to follow let me know as well in the comments those are really really fun to film definitely check out my rihanna one if you haven't watched it these powders i just don't really reach for them to be honest and um, if anything i reach for nutmeg more because she is in my shade and sometimes you just want a loose powder to put all over your face but then banana i remember using this under my eye and just finding it a bit dry but then again she might have a redemption day like my revolution did with me maybe i'm just maybe i just need to play around with her a bit more this is banana i'll show you nutmeg which definitely gets more love from me i love her stuff i love her skincare i love her makeup but these powders they they, they are probably like they're not one of my fancy beauty must-haves nah nah my last powder is actually this benign one just something for the old time just something to say oh my god one of the ogs i remember when you was popping i remember when everybody wanted you as you can see i used her she had her glory days she was good this powder I haven't reached for in years. She served her purpose. This reminds me of when I first got into makeup, maybe when I was like 18, 19. The Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. But yeah guys, that is the end of my setting powder video. So nice to film actually, so calm, so straightforward. If you found this useful, definitely give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, comment below and tell me you're loving the collection videos. Let me know also what setting powders you like, what setting powders you think I should try, what setting powders are in your collection. Or let me know if you want to get certain powder in your collection and you've seen something you liked in here that you're going to try. It would be really good to know that this video was helpful to somebody. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much and have a lovely day. Bye.